It's the championship round. 10 anglers will face off on the water today. Jacob Wheeler, reigning angler of the year and current point leader, he has been in the championship round every single one of the stages, but a man who's won one, and that's none other than Dustin Connell. He's got one win, a former Red Crest champion. Both of them have great resumes. The question is, which one could end up on top? Championship round, we are going to head into the lake, and um, I got the family in the background, Olivia's munching. What are you munching on, Olivia? What do you eat? I eat veggie straws. Veggie straws. straws. She woke up this morning and said, I was hungry. I said, I hear you. So we got her some veggie straws. A championship round, man. It's like, uh, for me, this is just an event that, like, now I can just sort of go out, you know, swing a little bit harder, you know? I'm, I don't really don't have anything to lose. There's a few deer right there. I'm all little babies. Look at this. Look at your window, honey. Libby, there's baby deer. But don't get crazy. We don't have good track record with New York and cars. <laughs> okay, so wait. Baby deer. Our track record with New York and deer is not good, is it? Jacob <laughs> won the St. Lawrence River. My bull. Ours? Okay, our my track record. Our. Jacob won the St. Lawrence River last year. Olivia and I came up. I was extremely pregnant with Hudson. I rented a minivan and after he won, we started driving back home and I nailed. Listen. Nailed. <laughs> Listen, I'm like on the phone Total and I'm looking car. at this. It's like from here to it's like right there at the sign. And I'm like, leash, leash, leash. And by the time it's like out in the middle of the road, she just, she, for, she doesn't hit the gas. If she doesn't hit the brakes, she hits the gas. Yeah. All of a sudden, he goes. I did. I, <laughs> I was like, "What?" I, the? I, I'm gonna panic. <laughs> it was not a good. It was not a good moment. So I totaled a Dodge Caravan. Yep. And safety. It didn't. It didn't kill us. Listen, this is how square I hit it. None of the headlights broke. That's true. <laughs> Max. But the car was total. But I didn't Max, pick a headlight. I hit it perfectly in the center. Like, that perfect. was so scary. You could not hit it an inch oh, either no. way. It was like dead center. It was bad. Literally. That's crazy. <laughs> so we're gonna try to stay away from these deer. Yes, please. <laughs> but she learned her lesson this week. I heard. Her... I had one run in front of me, and on she braked the ramp, and I was like, "Not today." Not today, dear. Not today. <laughs> Not this year, buddy. She's killed more deer with a car than I have with my bow. <laughs> hey. You have to stop just stopping in the See middle him? of the road. <laughs> yeah. He's not, he's not like, big. That was a buck though. He was 200 yards away. So I, I, I literally was driving into Cayuga and the other day, like the first day I got here, I see, I see this deer, it's just a giant, like a 170. And I'm like, holy crap. And I turn around and I go see it. And I'm like, holy smoke. So last night we're driving. We drive by it. And there's this big giant that deer's at. I've been driving by that field like every night, like when we were going to eat. And DC's like, no way. It's like a 140. And then there's like a 170. And so I go to turn around and Alicia was following me. And, it, and she's, and I'm actually sort of not being the smartest track. Like, I couldn't turn around the whole. He was doing a K turn in the middle of the road, basically, is yeah, what he was doing. I wasn't doing a K turn, but I was like, I was staying on my side. It just was like, long story short, the big tractor trailer was behind Alicia. Ah, he wasn't paying attention. He hit his horn. I turned back around. She almost gets rear ended by a tractor trailer. And then I, I go drive to see the deer, and they're all gone because the tractor trailer hit his horn. <laughs> That's, facts. That's hilarious. That's facts. But we're all okay. <laughs> but we're all okay. It's okay. It was not the smartest thing I've ever, and the smartest decision ever made, but it was, we're all okay. One more deer story. When Jacob and I first started dating, I was living in Columbus, Ohio. And I hit a deer with my Honda after leaving a friend's house in the middle of the night. It was the first year I've ever hit, so scared. 
called him and I was like, oh my gosh, my car's messed up. I don't know what to do. He literally asked me to turn around and go take a picture of it so he could see how big it was. I said, how, and she goes, I said, was it a buck? He said, was it a buck? I said, yes. He's goes, like, well, how big was it? Well, I, I said, well, like, how big was it? I don't know. I'm like, was it a 100-pound buck? Was He's it like, go back and get a picture. I was it a 10-pointer? Was it an 8-pointer? Was it a 10-pointer with a drop time? I don't think, are you okay? I, I, it what was, came out of your mouth? <laughs> well, I figured you were okay if you were calling me at that wow. point in time. So I was just like, you know, I was like, you know, I, I was, I was definitely not sensitive to the situation. No, you definitely were not. I was just like, hey, uh, so was it a big one? You know, thinking about what exactly I need to do to win this thing. I mean, I'm gonna have to fish the area that I started in. I mean, I Cody and myself and Andy Montgomery made that made the basically championship round off of that area. So the goal is really now is um, try to have a good start to the morning, and then I, I think there's gonna be able. Well, there are some areas that I have been fishing that have been covered up throughout the tournament, and now I'm able to potentially you know, fish those areas and let those fish settle down. So there's an opportunity that you could have the best day of the week today. And the pressure would say maybe not, but it doesn't seem like it's hurt those fish that bad. So I'm going to run around and fish my game and pick that crankbait up, pick the spinner rod up and, and run around and um, try to catch 100, I think 100 pounds you can have a shot to win. 100 pounds, you have a chance. If I don't catch 100, I didn't do my job. Yeah, buddy, boy. Catch him. <laughs> hey, you remember that? Yes, sir. Uh oh, DC. <laughs> She's I over here. Like, I child. need some love. Oh, you going to give him a huggy? Pop up. Oh, yay. Oh, with the sucker. Woo, sucker five. Right. That's what sucker five, man. Yeah. Yeah. All right, baby, honey. You be good, okay? <laughs> you be like, good, oh, boy. You be a good boy, okay? Yeah. Olivia, you do not be like messing stuff up at that store, okay? Please. You get to do, listen to your mommy. What do you think? I, ba, 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 ba. Let's catch one. Absolutely, Brett. Should be good, man. I need to catch a hundred. I need to catch 25, 30 big fishies. Five pounders, all of them. Hi, Libby. I love you. Here's what he gets. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Just about nine minutes away from sending these guys out for championship day. <laughs> Championship round be a little bit more formidable, or a little bit more informative. That is the correct term. Um, you guys are seeing sort of what's going down right here. There's the grass edge right here. You can sort of see on 360 that there's a little bit of like an edge right there. It's harder to see, but that's basically what I'm looking for. So little turns and little places in the grass is really the key, more than anything. And these fish have been shifting, so you know it's sort of interesting. It, there's there was not a ton of bass over where Andy's at in practice. Had a couple dots over there, caught several fish, but not the group. So the group is shifted. Like I've caught them here, we're at basically a 200 yard stretch, and they've they've shifted back and forth. So I'm hoping that with this win, I'm hoping they might have shifted back towards me. So I'm gonna hope for. It. That's all I'm gonna say. So, wish me luck. Let's see if we can go real a couple in. Sheesh. Sheesh. I 
Figure that thing. There you go. That's what happened. There he is. Big one. I'm gonna do a lot of this today. Two pounds, 15 ounces. Yes, sir. Have to do a lot of that today. Gosh, I know I'm gonna have to make the most out of this area. It's tough because I know. Ooh, I thought I had one smoke right there. I know. Get out to a fast start. I know. I know Connell's gonna get after him. You know. I just. I just know. So like, and he's got a lot of stuff that not a lot of people are fishing. The only thing I have a chance of on this north end <clears throat> is because there's only ten nine of us. A lot of the stuff that I've been fishing has had boats on it, and you haven't been able to let them set up. So I feel like there's an outside chance that I'll be able to fish that stuff and. Uh, be in a good position you know and, and be able to let them set back up and come back in now this place right here no way so i'm just but i'm just you know thankful i got out for a decent start yesterday i, think I ended up catching 38 pounds here which i just don't don't think that's going to be possible necessarily in that first period maybe i mean it's only 20 minutes in we already got what we got but it starts to get slower as you break the schools up and stuff that's why i let like sort of i caught some and rather than letting letting cody get to like the next little best place i came over here and caught another one and caught two more so you know they're they're definitely not as fast and furious as they were um the first day you know and they're getting broke up and stuff but those little nuances those little places you know i can if i can steal a few and the wind's blowing now cody's got a spinner on out you know I, i'm gonna have to after you sort of break them up you sort of probably you know most of the time i'll pick up a spinner on and sort of fish around <laughs> See what happens though i don't think andy's caught nearly as many today so we're just sort of taking our time down through here trying to to pick a couple more off that plug is been, that hang gt16 has been mean this week
you. Three, six. Three pounds, seven ounces. Okay, we're about right. We're, we're getting on track. Okay, so we were down by as much as 20 pounds going into the second period, and we might have or might not have had to go to a sneak hole and go reel some in uh, about every cast. We got down to seven pounds. We're down seven pounds right now. We're going to see what happens. I still know I have to find some more stuff to be able to win, but at least we are, are, are grinding to get to that point where we need to. And hopefully I got, I'm going to run a couple more places and then I'm going to let this stuff rest and then maybe I can come back to it and catch a few in the last period. So that's sort of what my thought was. Um, burn it down and then allow things to reload, come back and maybe catch three or four more fish. We're going to find one more spot. Even go back to this area that I did catch them this morning. I caught 20 pounds right there. Might not be a bad deal. So I'm going to sort of figure it out. Um, but hey, we're, we're in second. <laughs> second. I've got second in the day qualifier round. I'm second right now. Uh, I got second in the quote knockout round and I'm second right now. So we're we're tired of the second thing, so we got to step it up. And um, but regardless, it's 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 one and two right now. Me and DC are neck and neck, which is a lot of fun. Big one. That feels really big. Yeah, big one. If I'm sliding this way. I haven't seen him yet. It's four plus pounder, I'm pretty sure. And three and a half. And, uh, three and a half. Them suckers have backs to them. They just, when you set the hook in them, they're just like zzzz. Three pounds, five ounces. All right, three and a half pounder. Start the period off. Okay. Eleven ounces. Sure. They don't. I tell you what. They don't get out of the water long when we go catch them, suckers. They aren't out of the water real long. They don't even know what the heck happened. They're just like, nope. Oh shoot. Like what? What just happened? I bit a worm. I jumped. And now I'm back down where I was at in this little patch. Little. Little. That's another big one. Pretty good one. No, not a big one, but he's old spotted dog. He's spotted. A little pigmentation on him. Gosh, my freaking thumbs are getting raw. Okay. Two pounds, 15 ounces. Three pounder. 
hard or my thumbs are getting raw whoo it's a good sign but dang they're taking it that's what i've been using these gloves all week these are magellan gloves and just sort of whenever you're trying to catch a bunch of bass or if you're just trying to doubles as a as it sort of protects you from the fins the fins getting in your hands and then also dang gum sorry i had another one right here hooks treble hooks have been fortunate and obviously the sun so there's a lot of advantages to wearing gloves personally it's a fan tail's little I was hoping I can get on this little deal right here and catch me a few. What's Dustin called? Well, how far are we out now? Still, still 10 pounds ain't that much. We're just gonna have to find a couple little groups. We're gonna have to find a couple little groups for sure. We just rolled back to where <clears throat> to where I caught some fish this morning, and there's uh, Cody and Cody and and Andy are still here, and there's a couple other locals that showed up. So I, I don't think, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's done anyway. But I wanted to come back and check. Or just this is where it is. You son of a gun, dang gum it. Broke them all. What the heck? I just retied that too. Well, right now we are out of the storage. I'm trying to relocate a couple groups, see if they're still around. We're not completely out of it. We got a dang. What does he done? Got up on you a little bit now. I know. I, it's tough, man. Gosh, gosh, man. Dang, that one, I had to go sneaky stuff, and I just don't have enough of it. Enough of it's just not good. He slowed down a little bit now. He huh? did. I know. I mean, I could go. might be getting to him. I don't know. I don't know either. With the Academy Pro Jacob Wheeler. Jacob, I think you might have let your boy Dusty get a little head on you right no, there. No, man. It, I know. I didn't want to. Trust me. But I know that all this. I mean, I was really searching that period. You know, I had to let some stuff rest. And, and I, if I could just find one fresh place, I had a good vibe that I was going to be able to, you know, maybe catch him. You know, and that was really the key. I, I can't. I might be able to make it back and cut, come down and cut the deficit in, the, in this period on the stuff that I already was fishing, but I can't win. Sounds good. Jacob Wheeler has two and a half hours to catch 17 pounds on Dustin Canal. <laughs> three and a half pounder. 
that's a way to come back a little bit. We need, we need to be loaded up, that's for sure. How far are we behind? This is interesting. 18 and a half pounds for the lead. <laughs> four pounders now those four pounders now we don't have to catch that many to all of a sudden make a little comeback four pounders all right all right man i've been trying like all the i've been trying this last couple periods to really try to figure out just let this stuff settle if i could just find one additional place you know it's never Gotta let them set back up. You just never know, so. We need about 10 more of those. Sheesh, man, they're gotten a lot smarter. I know that. They're not as nice. We actually, I mean, be close. We're gonna make Dusty sweat. Dusty gonna be like, oh no. How far are we out now? Like 12 pounds? 12 pounds, 14. 12, 14. I'm gonna weigh him real quick here just to make sure, but. Pound 13 ounces. Nice. Okay. I'm back sort of in some zones where I got some bites this morning. Wind's blowing pretty good. But it's just the best chance I have, you know. I knew I needed like one more good place. I felt like we'd be all right. Just, you know, now we're just out here grinding, trying to see if we can't come across a group, you know. It's... And there's one right there. A little bit better. Ooh. First one this whole week. Two pounds, four ounces. All right. So, you know, we've just been, we've been out here fishing our butts off, you know. Check up, we got less than an hour less. How about a left time an update? Well, we're still plugging around, man. I just, I'm looking, trying to find just one more place. I mean, I can, if I can get two more bites, Probably on the stuff that I just fished. But I don't know if I'm going to catch more than that. So I have to really, I don't know, I might even fish some new stuff. If, if you can't win, you want one of your buddies to win, you know? And now, oh, the, oh, that'd have been a little one. That'd have been. So. There's no doubt. I said one, two, no matter how it shakes out. 
That'd be awesome. So I stuck to a large mouth plan. I knew DC had been on the small mouth. He's laughing about it. I was a knee sucker. And uh, you know, it's been fun. He's been he's been doing his thing and sort of I've been doing my thing and just having a good time, you know, and Eight ounces. Okay. Sorry, just trying to block that wind. Alright. Trying to run some newer stuff. I try to repeat some of the stuff that I got some bites on. It's just not, it's not going. So, got to run some newer stuff and see if we can't get a group fired up. Man, we need, we need a couple big ones. That's the, really the biggest thing is you catch a couple five pounders, you can make up that ground quick. We ain't gonna stop until you see the lines out, that's for sure. It's not in our, there ain't no quit in this. You just never know. I've seen some crazy stuff happen. Four and a half minutes left. How much is he up? It's an 18 pounder. That's all we need is 18 and a half pounder. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. You got me on the last cast. <laughs> I'm a wave. That's like, I don't want to be two pounds, but I'm a wave. Dang, damn it. So we ain't giving up. Hey, we need to know. Listen, every pound matters. Two pounds, four ounces. And there you go. <laughs> Congratulations, my friend, Dustin Connell. You did a good job, dude. Good job. Um, I had a heck of a week out here, and man, I'm uh, pumped up to, to, to see him hoist this week. No doubt, I battled all day, um, put my head down, and I love the G16, played a huge role throughout the whole week. and. Go up a little bit, Brody. Good job, Thank Greg. you. Thank you. I tried to, I tried to, I battled that sucker. Gosh dang, I was battling him out for a little bit. I He was, he was sweating it for a little bit. <laughs> we had a good time though, we really did, man. I caught one of my last cast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. It was a, uh, like a dang two pounder, two four. I said, yeah, yeah. that's what we end the week. Two four, last cast. Two four, the last cast. Hey, I ain't got yeah. nothing to say. Except, for the solid week. Yep, you got something? Yep, I do. do Good job, man. Thank you. Come on up. How's your day, man? Just wanna take their job, boss. Thank you, man. Come back. Sure you yeah. What's up, Libby? Come here. Come on. You miss me? See? You catch a fish, Daddy. I did catch some. Yeah. I caught some for you. Do what, honey? Hi, Brody. Wait, Jules. Say hi. Hi, Brody. Oh, what about it? Hey, you smashed. <laughs> you were scaring me all day. I said, here he comes. Here he comes. I, knew I, I said, like, he's going to line a school up and just come on back. I knew I was like, oh, Dude, wait. I fished my butt. I know you did because I was laughing. I, I did. I said, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go light him up. You are. I, I, I knew it. I was like, oh. I, I fished all the way until like 12 minutes, like as hard as I could. <laughs> And I was like, he's gonna pull up on Sneaky School and just whack him. Like, Big Daddy. I thought, oh my God, it's done. Good job. I know. Yay. I knew it. I said, I'm gonna make him work for it. I said, I guarantee you, Dustin, we got him with 12 pounds. I said, he was gonna be like, one and two. One and two. Hey. It's smashed. Right. I caught one on the last cast. Did you really? I had 80 pounds. You had 80? I had 80 pounds. Oh, God. Mm. You scared. Uh, I, uh, the herb was 49. 
<laughs> yeah, I thought it was just right. we, we, <laughs> we had all heads? Uh, all heads. Unbelievable. All, all heads. All heads. Oh, yes, sir. I freaking rolled up. Leave my stuff when he hit the bottom. It's like this. <gasps> this is when I got closer to you, I like in the first. Brown. I had uh, I, 26 pounds of brown. 25. Oh, 25 and three quarters. Yeah, I lost like two fives and a three and a half. <laughs> I, I was like, dang it. That's nuts. That's good stuff, dude. I'm proud of it. I was like, dang. You work for you've been just oh, about dang about, about about the first period. You've been kicking back. If it sounds just no, 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 whatever. I caught 50 pounds in the first period, and I had like a seven pound lead. I was like, I'm done. <laughs> Can you hear me now? He's about to smash. <laughs> I was blown away. I had like 55 pounds the first period. I had like My 40. mom is yelling for you. I had 48. Let's hear it for our Fox Rent a Car Stage 6 presented by Guggen Champion Dustin Cow! <laughs> Good job, oh, thank buddy. you so much. Congrats, thank nice, you. nice turn. Nice meeting you, nice you as well. All right, y'all, that is a wrap. My boy DC reeled them in a little bit better and got the W. I'm super proud of him. It's uh, man, I know this is not gonna be his last. He's always reeling them in. We're always pushing each other to get better and to catch more. And today it was like boom, boom, back and forth. I could not have scripted any better. Obviously, I would love to win, but uh, to be able to go back and forth against my my guy, against battle him out, was a lot of fun. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Had a little mishap in the beginning with with the chesty the last couple of videos, but hey, that's technical difficulties 101. You got to have some of those issues overall. Um, hopefully you did learn a little bit of something really came down to that crank bait on that outside edge I caught a DT 16 caught him on DT 14 and really was targeting Those points and the regularities in the grass and then I was throwing that drop shot on some of those little clumps and little places um, And they were just sort of a hey, one-two punch you guys seen it all go down a lot of fun um, Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see y'all next one